What's up, YouTube family? This your man Gerard with DBK Mobile Detailing in Charlotte, North Carolina, back with another video. So I want to say first off, welcome back, fam. And if you're not part of the family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and consider joining the family. Also, if you're not, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at DBK underscore mobile underscore detailing. So in this video, I finally got my hands on the Chief Steamer. And it's a surprise one because it's not the one that everybody's been picking up. Not to knock that one, but this one right here is the one that I decided to go with. And if you're looking to upgrade your steamer or if you know somebody that's looking to upgrade their steamer, check this video out or I'll share it with them. I'm gonna be going over the whole accessory process, pros and cons, and how it stacks up to my old steamer. So if this video is for you or somebody you know, stick around to the end. We're gonna go ahead and get right into it. So before I pull it out and show it to y'all, Let's talk about why I even decided to upgrade my steamer. Simple, it was time for me to get one. It, the ones that I had, I had the McCulloch 1385. That was my second steamer and I had the Wagner. Uh, I forget the model of it, but I had the Wagner first. The Wagner, it got me through. Eventually it was starting to run its course. It didn't tear up, but I could tell, you know what I'm saying? Just based off of the performance of it, it was, it was time to get something else. So nevertheless, I was looking at the McCulloch 1385 and the one I think it was the 1375 or 1275, I ain't for sure, but either way, I was looking at one of those, between those two, and I decided to go with the 1385, so I ended up picking that one up, and just so happened after not even a year, I ain't even had that steamer a year, but uh, matter of fact, I think, I think this month or next month would have made a full year of me having that 1385. But anyway, it choked out on me on the, in the middle of it. Well, not in the middle of a job. I was done, but I was going to pull it back out for something else, and it just wouldn't heat up no more. So if anybody got that steam or McCulloch steamer and y'all had that issue with it, leave it in the comments below and let me know how did you handle that? What did you do? Did you send it back or did you throw it in the trash? So this is the Wagner steamer. This was my first steamer. And one thing I did like about this is it had the long holes. You know, that was always a plus or whatnot. Not so long of an extension uh, outlet for the power hose, I mean cord. And it did have the onboard, you know, where you could put your tools and utensils. So this would be a good steamer, you know, if you just starting out or whatnot, you know, it's inexpensive. I think I paid like a hundred and something on Amazon. It was on sale. I wasn't a fan of this attachment, which was supposed to have been like their brush attachment. I wasn't a fan of that. But nevertheless, it got me through. And eventually it did end up cracking right here, which that could have something to do with the performance. I don't know, but it cracked, but the hoses that's inside of it is still intact, so. But my issue that I really had with this one was this piece. It actually comes with a shorter nozzle and this end kept breaking. The tip part where you attach the attachments to kept breaking. So eventually I just started using the long one or whatnot. Like I say, it got me through, man, but this steamer actually, the PSI on this one was 52, I believe it was 52 PSI. So like I say, if you're on a budget or you just, you know, grabbing your first steamer or whatnot, this would definitely be a great option. And I know I told y'all that my uh, McCulloch had went out. So I actually had to go back to using the Wagner steamer. But during that time, I was, I was saving and looking to invest into a cheap steamer. But, um, <clears throat> I was kind of disappointed at this one, man. I really was, because I had high hopes for this thing. It's a little bit cumbersome, you know, depending on what type of setup you got. May and may not, you know, find room for it. But like I say, this one had a pretty decent hose on it too. And the hose broke right here. And as you can see, I had to put duct tape around it to make it work. But the hoses inside, they still intact. I don't know why it quit heating up. It would turn on, it just wouldn't heat the water up. So I was disappointed, I will say that. And I think my main selling point for this, when I got this, was this attachment right here. Like I wanted the brush attached, the triangle brush. But for the time that it was working, it did get me through, you know. I really didn't have no complaints because had this not stopped heating up, I'd probably still be using this steamer. So this is my McCulloch 1385. It's a little bit more pricier than the Wagner. I think this one is 195 or something like that on Amazon. Not sure, but 
Anyway, it gave up the ghost. And like I said, leave it in the comments and let me know, have y'all ever had that issue with this steamer, particularly McCulloch steamer, no matter what series it is. And let me know how did you handle it, because I was thinking about sending it back, because I think it was still under warranty, or still is under warranty. I think you get a year or something like that. But by that time, you know, I was like, you know what, I ain't finna, you know, keep going back and forth with it. So it is what it is, but we're not doing a comparison video. I want to show y'all the new steamer that I got. So let me pull that one up to the table. All right, so originally I wanted to do an unboxing with y'all and show y'all, I mean, fresh out the box. But I was on site when I, you know what I'm saying, took the box out or whatnot and I was gonna use it, but I did use it that same day. But by the time I shot the footage or whatnot and got home and was reviewing it, the footage was crap. So I had to, anyway, you know, it, it wasn't no good. I couldn't put that video out. So I had to go ahead and use it, but I saved it pretty much in its form, the way it came and whatnot, with the exception of the box that I had just opened and whatnot, because I was excited to get this cinema, y'all. I was excited. And if you'd have seen that video, y'all would have seen my excitement. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. And before I pull this up, I did forget to mention that both of those two seamers did drip water. So I know, you know, when you first starting it up and you getting ready to use it, a lot of times that water that's in the line or whatnot will come out first. But even after that, those steamers did drip water. So I had to be careful when I was in the vehicles, you know, I had to sit it on the floor or lay it on the ground or whatnot. Cause if you lay it on the seat or lay it on the console or something, you're gonna have water dripping out and that water is hot when it comes out. So the last thing you wanna do is damage some material or you know something in the vehicle or whatnot due to your negligence. But anyway, this is the steamer that I picked up where I ordered. And just a little back history on it. Like I say, I was saving and I was looking to invest in the Chief Steamer. And finally one day I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pull the plug on it. And I got online. I Googled Chief Steamer and what came up actually surprised me because I'm like, wait a minute. And I looked at the price on it. I'm like, that can't be right. So I said, let me go to the website. I clicked on the website or whatnot and they had what is called the Chief Steamer 75. And it was half the price of the Chief Steamer 100. So I'm like, what's the difference? So of course, you know, I did my reviews or whatnot, looking on it, trying to pull it up, get as much information about it as I could. And it was on the weekend. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna wait till they open. And I actually called and talked to the guy. I think his name is Kevin. But I went on ahead and ordered it anyway because it was like sun it was Sunday or Sunday night. I went on ahead and ordered it just to get my order in there. And I'm like, I'll call him the next day. And if, you know, I don't like what he's saying, I'll see if I can just, you know, pay the difference and get the original Chief Steamer 100 that I was going to get. But nevertheless, after talking to him and his videos was the only videos that I seen on YouTube about the Chief Steamer 75, which is why I wanted to go ahead and make this video about the Chief Steamer 75, because I don't think a lot of people really know about it like that. So it came with the pamphlet, a booklet, so to say. And this, well, first of all, these are the attachments that it came with. And the only difference about this steamer and the Chief 100 is the numbers. So the Chief 100 puts out 100 PSI and the Chief Steamer 75 puts out 75 PSI. And this is actually the second version that they had because they had a first version that was about the same size as the Chief 100. And it had the same, you know, pretty much the same look and everything. Even the parts were interchangeable, the hoses or whatnot. And it didn't come with, I don't think it came with a reservoir tank. And it would put out 85 PSI, I think I said that. But this one puts out 75 PSI, which is much more than the McCulloch and the Wagner steamer that I had. So that was a selling point. And of course it came with the brush attachment. That's big fan of ours in the detailing community. Came with one microfiber mitt to go on the brush. The one nozzle attachment. This part, this part goes to the brush. 
and it came with a bunch of these little ones. Now they got the stiff, they got the stiff one, and they got this uh, steel wool one, which I don't know, unless you're cleaning a grill, or I don't know what you would use this for on the vehicle, but I do like these little ones that they got. It's made out of that boar's hair material, the same kind of like what you would use to clean leather seats with. So I'd probably be using these in certain scenarios and situations. And yeah, you get a couple of these. Actually, you get two of each. Well, excuse me, you get three of each. And it also came with some O-rings. It's a good thing. Uh, never know when you might need these. So I'm gonna put this stuff back in the bag. So when I talked to the guy on the phone, I think his name is Kevin, but um, basically this steamer he made for mobile detailers in mind. Like he said, that was his concept behind the steamer. Now, Originally, like I said, I was looking to get the, uh, the Steamer 100, but after I seen this and after talking to him, I'm like, you know what? That might be a better buy for me because granted, if I was working in a shop, then I could see getting that and not knocking nobody who got it because like I say, originally that's the Steamer I was gonna get, but that Steamer is made for continuous going. And both of these Steamers, this one, the 75 and the 100, are commercial grade. They tell you in the pamphlet, this is a commercial steamer, which is why I don't think I had too much success. Well, I ain't gonna say too much success, but the other two are not made for commercial use. And when I say commercial use, I mean day in, day out, using these steamers every day. Somebody like me, or you know, somebody like you that might be watching, I'm pretty sure you probably use your steamer at least two to three days out the week. Sometimes it may be every day out the week, maybe once, twice, three times a day, but we going from stop to stop to stop. Very rarely, I ain't gonna say rarely, but more than likely we going from one location to the next. Now, every now and then we may get a location where we got two or more vehicles and which is fine because the day that I originally shot the video that I didn't get to put out was I had three at that location, two which were getting steam cleaning. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. So when I originally got it, the Chief Steamer 100 was on sale for $1,049. I think it was like $100 off or something like that. And this one was actually half the price. It was $500, $499. And I don't even think I paid taxes on it. I think when I ordered it, I think that's what they charged me, $499. So I was like, you know, that's a steal. So we're gonna take a look at it. So now the overall specs of this, it holds a liter of water. And another thing, I guess I'm gonna go over the pros and cons as I talk about it. So that was a pro too, because this takes distilled water and it also takes tap water. So I'm pretty sure if you got spot free water or whatnot, then you can use that as well. So it takes both. You don't have to, you know, try to go find no tap water or you don't have to, you know, go get a jug of distilled water from the grocery store. It takes whatever you got on, on, your, ve on, on your van or well, and it also comes with a seven foot hose and a 13 foot power cord. And the only thing that I don't like about this steamer, I guess you could say would be the length of the hose. I, I feel like it could have been a little bit longer, but that wasn't a deal breaker for me. So, I mean, nevertheless, I've had a chance and I'm actually glad that I didn't put the video out because I actually had a chance to really use this steamer and see what it can do. And when I tell you what it can do, I am not disappointed at all. And if you notice, it doesn't have a detachable hose. This hose is part of the steamer. And this is where you fill the water up at. It's got the temperature gauge. It's not, it's not the numeric one. It's got the little color code or whatnot. But this steamer takes literally, it says seven minutes, but I've plugged this thing up, filled it up with water, and in five minutes, it was ready to go. Like the line was almost hitting in the red, like it's ready. And Another thing that I like about it is it put out that dry steam. It's not like that wet steam that I've been getting with the other two steamers. Like it put out straight dry steam and it's good continuous steam. Now, of course, you know, if you lay on the trigger, it's gonna lose pressure or whatnot, but I can go through a whole door panel and maybe start swiping on the, uh, <laughs> excuse me, swiping, wiping on the dash or whatnot while I'm still holding the trigger. Like, I mean, it, it puts out, I hadn't had to do it much longer than that, but I'm pretty sure if I held it a little bit longer, it would keep going. And similar to the 100, although it's different colors, I think the 100 has red tips. 
with the black handle, it does have the adjustable pressure right here, where you can adjust it from low to high, high to low, or however you like to use your steam. It's got the trigger right here, and it's also got the locking mechanism. So you can lock it when you sit it down, that way you know you don't have any accidents, which I haven't had any, because I don't lock it and you can lock it while you're holding the trigger. That way it keeps going. And another thing that I notice about this steamer too is once you turn the power off the power button, which is right here, once you turn that power button off, nothing else comes out of this, nothing. Not no water drips, not no extra steam. I know it's been cases where, you know, I had my other two steamers out and maybe I missed a spot and had already turned it off or maybe I seen something that got overlooked and I could come back with my steamer and take the, uh, and still, you know, get some steam out of it even after I had and unplugged it and cut the power off. And another thing is, is one thing that I've noticed about this steamer that I never did with my other two steamers was, you can actually save time and save money with this steamer. Not just this one, but probably any steamer, but I didn't really start noticing it or even trying it until I used this one. And that is, it's been certain cases like on a maintenance vehicle or, you know, a well, well kept vehicle, you don't even need no product. Like I've been able to take this steamer, plug it up and go to town with this in a rag and in some cases with a brush. No product needed, just steaming and wiping down. Especially like when the dash gets dusty or, you know, dust on the panels or whatnot, like that part has been a game changer for me. So it was points where I was pulling this steam out on vehicles that wasn't even getting steam cleaning just to kind of, you know, get through it real quick. And I actually like the finish on it. It gives it a nice, clean finish. I'm not a fan of the over shiny, you know, dashboards and consoles, but that nice, clean finish, man. One thing that I haven't tried that I was doing with my other two steamers was I was putting O&R, not O&R, but the uh, PNS brand of the rinseless wash. I was pouring that in the water, in the tank. And I did that with the other two steamers I hadn't tried it with this one. I don't know if it would work or whatnot because I do know he said that part of using tap water is what activates the steam. I don't know the mechanisms of how it works, but the minerals and deposits in the water is what activates the steam. Not, not the temperature, but I guess it's like, you know, the particles that hit a lever inside of this or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, man, overall, this steamer has been a game changer for me, man, and I would definitely highly recommend it. And like I say, the only con I really got about it is I feel like the hole should have been maybe 10 feet, something like that, maybe. And I, like I say, I don't use it on all details, but I'm starting to incorporate it into like my maintenance uh, my maintenance details and just, you know, well-kept vehicles. Like I, I can see where this steamer really, you know what I'm saying, shines at and especially like spot cleaning, you know, maybe you got a stain in the seat or a stain in the floor. You can pull your brush out, wrap a towel around it and spray, you know, whatever you use to clean it up with and go to town, wipe it up, done. Like, especially when it only takes like five minutes for this thing, five to seven minutes, I say that, for this thing to get ready. Like, that's a big plus. Whereas I think the Wagner didn't take that long either, but I know the McCulloch would take like 12 to 15 minutes to heat up. Man, by the time I pull this out, fill it up, turn it on, take the floor mats out, you know, start blowing or whatnot, it's ready to go. Like, it's ready to go. I say, oh, and another thing is, is what he did stress was, make sure if you got to use an extension cord that you get the right extension cord. I got this rigid from uh, Home Depot, 12 gauge, no more than 50 feet. Because what happens is this steamer pulls 1600 watts. So make sure you got a generator if you're using a generator that pulls, and I would say more than that, not just that. Make sure it pulls more than that. I'd say 2000 at least. That way you know you got enough power and Make sure it's on a 15 amp circuit. I think most generators, I know mine's got 20 amp circuits. So make sure it's on a 15 amp circuit, 12 gauge extension cord, because he said he will not warranty this if you've hooked it up to anything less than that and it causes the machine to malfunction. I believe it comes with a three year warranty. I'm not sure, I can't remember, but I think it is a three year warranty. And 
they will send you the parts out and walk you through the process of changing it if need be. He say it's fairly easy to work on these things if you have to. But if you follow the steps and you know read your manual, you know it tell you exactly how to maintain it and care for the machine. This is my new addition. Later in the future, I am looking to upgrade maybe my vac, my extractor, because I have the mighty. 300 heated version and some cases I could see where I could use a little bit more you know water in the tank or whatnot get through the job or whatnot so and if I do that'll probably be next year or whatnot but leave it in the comments let me know what y'all think about this steamer is this something that you would pick up something that you would look into and tell me what you think and even if you have this steamer let me know in the comments you know how has it performed for you and if you got something from this video hit that like button and like i say if you're not part of the family man hit that subscribe button and join the family go follow me on instagram at dbk underscore mobile underscore detailing and as always man y'all be blessed be prosperous and I will definitely catch y'all on the next one.